So last week, I made a Gordon Ramsay reference to Amaki Sally, and here is her response. Gordon Ramsay, where's the lamb sauce? What are you, an idiot sandwich? <laughs> Yo, what is up guys and welcome to another video and today I'm going to be discussing with you about something that happened about last week So, before I mention about something that happened last week, um, last month, I did this Yeah And apparently last week, the AFA released this That's right Nogizaka 46 will be coming to Singapore for AFA on the 24th of November and all I can say is that I had kind of an influence on that coming Okay, the reason why is because um, when I was there last year I actually went to the Merry Christmas show as well as the 5th birthday life as part of a media, as part of J Network I'll put the link in the description down below so you can check out what J Network is so basically, I cover them as J Network yeah, we were the only foreign media who were there technically, the timing was absolutely wonderful the reason why about a month before the announcement was given okay, we have already booked our flight me, Junwei, my parents, we have already booked our flight and um... We are supposed to go to Japan for a holiday, okay? Like we went to, to like we went across Tokyo, we went to um, Hiroshima, Mount Fuji as well. So we went to those kind of places. That was our plan of itinerary. But one day of the day, we were supposed to go to Osaka and Kyoto. But apparently, a month later, the announcement came out that Nogisaka 46 will be having the Merry Christmas show on the period that we went to Japan on. So the, a, lot, a lot of people, basically a lot of my friends who were inside the fan club basically asked me Hey bro, why don't I just go and cover the Nogisaka 46 concert? You'll be in Japan Sure, why not? So I actually went to contact Sony Music Japan and uh, apparently about a few weeks later they actually replied back We, in the first place, we never expect them to actually reply us back So it was actually wonderful, a wonderful experience um, I didn't really get to say much about what my experience is when I was at Nippon Budokan last year But the treatment was amazing Where If you were to go in as a normal fan, you had to queue up a lot And especially there's a lot of security checks We had to skip all that Instead, we were given a lane when they had a red carpet Okay, I wish I could have videoed it I wish, okay I'm sorry, I don't have any footage but me and my friend Junwei were in awe We never expected our lane to have a red carpet Like red carpet, serious And I was wearing this Yeah, I was wearing that to the concert I should have worn a blazer I swear to god, I would look like oh, there's someone walking down a red carpet of Grammys Like, really So we actually went inside there, we got to sit with the other medias as well we were sitting just right above the third generation where they were sitting but the view was amazing I will just show you a picture on how it looks like um, Basically the one that influenced Nogizaka 46 was what happened during the after party So okay, so during the after party actually um, I talked to the manager of relations with the PR of Nogizaka 46 and um, we, are, we discussed a lot of things that um, regarding about how the fan base of Nogi Zaka 46 in Singapore and uh, basically what are the reactions to it they say is AKB48 more popular than Nogi Zaka 46 so basically those line of questions and he once told me that that we are the only foreign media who has ever covered a Nogi Zaka 46 live show and I was like wow I was absolutely shocked okay, to the fact that I heard this for the first time in my life so basically, you can say I'm actually one of the influence of bringing on Giska 46 to Singapore because I didn't cover the event not once but twice because we went there for Hashimoto Nanami's graduation, uh, sem graduation concert so I guess that's that um, and now no Giska 46 is coming to Singapore something that probably might be one year in the making, you know but um, yeah, it has been absolutely amazing. I am looking forward to Nogisaka 46 coming to Singapore. It might be the last time. I don't know. Because the thing is, I, 
after what happened last year, I do want to go back to the Merry Christmas show 2017 when it is announced. And also, in addition as well, one of the Nogisaka 46 fan sites, the Nanashi Project, is also doing a slogan project for Nogisaka 46 when they come to Singapore. Do check it out as well, I'll put the Nanashi Project link in the description below as well. Thank you very much for watching and yeah, all I can say is I'm going back to Nogisaka 46. See ya.